Good morning and welcome to another video and happy new year. It is January 4th and this is my new, my first video of 2024. It's currently 4.30 in the morning. That is why I look like this, because I'm exhausted. But I gotta do some cardio this morning. Today's cardio session is supposed to be four miles. So I woke up weighing 208.5. It's pretty much what I'm sitting at. So even though it's a new year, the morning routine really hasn't changed much. I wake up, weigh myself, and then I finished the Bible in a year last year. So now I'm just choosing Basically, I read one Proverbs a day, and then right now, for the month of January, I'm going to be re reading um, Isaiah, so I'm thinking I'll probably be able to get through the book of Isaiah twice in the month of January. And then I'm currently reading Choose Your Enemies, which I have to go get that book. I think it's out in my living room. So I no longer wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning because I've been doing morning workouts and afternoon workouts. So on the day that I do work out, on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I have two days. So I wake up, do my cardio in the morning, and then lift in the afternoon when I get home from work. So since I've been waking up at 4.30, I've been trying to get into bed by 8.30, 9 o'clock every night. Waking up at 4.30, I'm able to wake up, drink my pre-workout, do my daily devotional, and I'm usually out in my gym by about 5.15, 5.30. And then I'll usually inside by 6.30, which allows me to eat, shower, and get to work on time. But I'll tell you what, it's been cold the last couple days, been like rainy, and it is so hard to get out of bed in the morning when my alarm clock goes off. And my daughter's laying all nestled, cuddling right next to me, and it's warm in the bed, and I could hear the rain outside, and I know it's going to be cold. It is just brutal in trying to wake up, but you got to do it. Because I'm still trying to get to below 200 for race day, which I'm basically like three weeks out. So these last three weeks are going to be crucial in trying to drop that to get to 200 pounds. But all I'm sipping on right now, I got one scoop of megawatt, so a little bit of caffeine, and then one scoop of Ultraformance orange flavored. Um, so I went back to taking Ultraformance because it's not only a carb powder, but it does have some electrolytes. So the fact that I've been running a lot more. I feel like the electrolytes help before my workouts, my morning workouts. So, anyways, I'm going to sip on this, read my Bible, read my book, and then go log some miles. Let's have a good day. All right, so cardio, morning cardio is done. Let's see how well I did. <clears throat> it's freaking cold. I'm going to go right now. All right, so indoor run took me 44 minutes. I ran 4.10 miles. Burnt 523 calories and my average heart rate was 132. Due to the fact it was really cold out here, <clears throat> my heart rate was down. My stupid throat is feeling scratchy and my nose is feeling a little weird. So I don't know if I'm getting sick again, but if I get sick again, I'm gonna be a little pissed off because I should be healthy. Today's morning workout was definitely one of those ones I did not wanna do and was not feeling it and I was dragging. I'm actually running 10 minutes behind because the voice of average almost won this morning. And it's crazy how that works because everybody's probably been in the same situation, especially with New Year's being a couple days ago. January 1st comes around, I am fired up. I'm like, don't you want to take any days off? I got a super high. I'm, I'm focused on my goals. I have them written down. Did my vision board, everything. I was feeling ready to go. But it never fails. And I've talked about this before, even when it comes to like signing up for a race. Usually the night before or the morning of, you're just not feeling it. At least that is with me. I don't know if that's how I, anybody else is but when it comes to actually like pulling the trigger that is when the voice of average comes in tough and is always like wanting me to stay back in bed where it's nice and cozy doesn't want to work out because I have this soreness or I you know maybe take the day off because I'm a little tired or I have a lot going on whatever that voice just comes in tough with all these reasons of why you should not work out the main one being this morning is I was tired I was cozy and it was cold as lame as that sounds that's what happens sometimes. But some of the things I do is I focus on, obviously, like I've talked about before, if I don't do this, how much I'm gonna regret it. 
Um, and then what I've been relying on lately for motivation, which I hate using that word, but in this case I had to, um, I have a couple different songs that as soon as I hear them, I've listened to them so many times when I've been doing things I don't wanna do, whether it's on a hard run outside where the weather sucks, or whether it's during an intense like Metcon or something. I call them trigger songs because when I listen to them, I'm able to tap into that feeling that I had when I was in that sucky situation, like I said. So I could tap into how I felt during that six mile run when the weather sucked and I was pushing through because of that song I was listening to. And then there was another time where I was listening to that same song and I was pushing through a Metcon or I had a really good pump or I hit a, a PR or whatever it may be by just listening to that song, I'm able to tap in to a previous time in my life where I felt really good and my endorphins was high and I was like at my peak performance. So I have a couple different songs that as soon as I hear that, I'm able to tap into how I felt and that's what I've been using lately to motivate me to actually follow through. So I listened to like one of the songs as soon as I stepped on the treadmill and not even before the song was over, I was already like jacked up, ready to go run the four miles. So find some songs, find some, some, I don't know, some, maybe some quotes, some movies, whatever. Find something that you can listen to during your workouts and during a time where you overcome something and then remember that and really pay attention to how you feel because whether you work out or not, I would say 90% of the time it's based off of how you feel. You hear that all the time, I don't feel like working out, okay? Well, you gotta reverse that and use the opposite side of it. There's times during my workout where I really feel like working out. So I pay attention to what's going on that makes me feel that way. Typically, it's music or a certain song that makes me just wanna push to another level. So, like I said, the times when I'm not feeling it, I'm able to tap in and relive those situations where I was feeling it. And that is what I've been using to overcome this feeling of like, dude, I don't wanna work out. I don't feel like eating healthy. I don't feel like going after my goals. I feel like being a bum. No, no bums allowed in a gogi. No bums allowed in 2024. But anyways, I'm running super behind. So I'm gonna go inside, shower, eat my first meal. It's a low carb day. So all I'm doing is a cup and a half of egg whites, a little bit of spinach, and then half a cup of shredded cheese with a little bit of ketchup. I'm gonna down that, or I'm gonna eat that, drink some more water, and then head to work. Because unfortunately, Christmas break is over. Well, just got to my class. Just kidding, this is not my class. This is not my classroom. No, they are currently painting my classroom right now. So I am in a, a temporary classroom. It does not have all my stuff. So it's making my life muy difficile but I'm gonna make do with what I have. I have a bunch of IEPs I gotta get caught up on because January is the month where I have the most IEPs due. So I gotta get working on those, that is the plan. So the plan for today, when it comes to my fitness, cause I'm still trying to hit 20,000 steps. I have not hit 20,000 steps any day this week. My overall goal though is 140,000 steps for the week. So as long as I hit that by Sunday night, I'm golden. At the rate I'm going, I am not on track to hit that, but I need to make some course corrections and then obviously make some adjustments. So today, what I'm planning on doing is in between each passing period is go for a walk, get some steps in. During my lunch, after I'm done eating, go for, some, go for a walk, get some steps in. During my prep, go for a walk, get some steps in. So 20,000 steps, and then when I get home, I got a leg workout. And this is a low carb day. So I think my total carbs for the entire day are like 100 and something, 124, I think. Um, <clears throat> and my leg workouts at the end of the day and most of my curb carbs are at the beginning of the day. So we'll see how I feel. But anyways, I technically don't have to clock in for another 35 minutes, but since I am here, I'm gonna clock in, get ahead of schedule, and then hopefully get all these IEPs done today. That is the plan. So we shall see. I'll tell you what, people drive like crazy people when school gets out. That's not even the students. It's the adults. The teachers just want to get home and get the heck away from the kids. So you got a bunch of grown adults 
driving like crazy people. Anyways, busy day. Got all my uh, IEPs all done and everything. So now I'm ready to go home. Uh, excited. That's tilted. Fix that. Looks a little bit better. I got crazy speed bumps. Um, it's a leg day. Leg day. So we're going to see how this leg day goes. I got it written out. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to do... What are you doing, buddy? People don't know how to drive. I, I give up. Um, probably going to choose about five or six exercises. Do a couple supersets in there. I'm um, probably going to end with an AMRAP. Probably zone two, zone three, zone four kind of training area. Get that heart rate up, elevated. And then probably end with a little bit of ice bath. I've been consistent with my ice baths. I've been, uh, my goal is five a week. So that's something I've been hitting. My workouts, I'm going to hit the five a week. Uh, my steps, like I said, I think I'm only at or a little over 10,000 steps. So we shall see how the step count goes. But So I was mapping out all my, my races and everything that I'm looking at doing this year. And I think I have, if I mapped it out right, I think the only month that I might not have something is July, August, September, October, and then December. December, I don't usually do anything, obviously the holidays, and then usually there's not that many events in December. Um, where I'm having the most trouble trying to map out is the DECA events. A lot of the DECA events are not up to date in California. Um, there's really only the, the DECA fit, which is gonna be held, I think, in April. I think it's April. But I'm hoping to do like my DECA events in like February, March, after I finish the trifecta. So I'm gonna go Spartan trifecta, January, and then my goal was February, March, do the DECA, and then probably do the DECA fit in April. And then May, I know I think what I'm gonna be doing. And then June, I got an event that I'm looking at doing. And November but November if I go through with November's November's is gonna be a lot of prep so I'm gonna need a three-month prep for that so I probably won't have a race during that time but I'll tell you what I hate daylight savings time it is like 3 24 right now and the Sun is already going down and it, it, it just doesn't make me happy I don't like it and I was looking that apparently we're supposed to not go back to regular time until March 10th so that's like two months away I like when it's sunny all day for a very long time and I know a lot of states don't even do daylight savings I think California is like one of the only ones that does it and apparently it's like there's no point so California get your stuff together get rid of this stupid daylight savings time huh no one likes it we should just all vote it off the island Anyways, that's my rant. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna say hello to the family, drink my pre-workout, and then jump into Oh, is good? Nope, can't be tired, it's leg day. Can't be tired, come on, come on. Log it in. That's why I'm gonna drink some pre-workout. Another scoop of megawatt. Mixed with probably a scoop of Enduraformance. Get a little bit of creatine and beta alanine flowing through the brain. I was going to say the brains. Flowing through the brains. But I'm going to sip on that and then get a, get a little warm up in and catch you guys for a late workout. So stay tuned. Well, now you need to, you need to walk back to school. You always wears a bobby of your guys. Wait, so I gotta run fast so my money doesn't fall in my pants? Yeah, cause your guy is too shy deep. I eat all her shit. You guys heard it from Adeline herself. I need to run very fast.
So yeah. the people don't catch me and I don't fall asleep, correct? Yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> you gonna come work out with Daddy? You gonna come work out with Daddy? You're gonna put your shoes on? What are we working out today, Mama? I will back to so people don't catch us and we don't. Who? We punch the people? Yeah. Well, we don't punch people. Except for bad people, right? Bad, bad guys. Bad guys. We don't have any bad guys, though, huh? Yeah. Like, they say you need to run faster, 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 faster. Run faster, faster? Why do you have that? Don't ride on that. Remember, that's my big calendar. Let's go do this. I need a hat. I need to go find a hat, right? Why do you have that? This. Why do I need that? Because you need to burst it instead of the bad guy while the burst starts him so you gotta check and see if it's a bad guy. So Alright, so it's 424. We are currently in a gogi about to kick off this leg workout. So this is where you guys probably wonder where I get all my programming from for my workouts. Hey. This is my fitness instructor. She she's the one that gives me. What am I doing today? I got shoes and a jacket? Yeah, and the shorts. And shorts. What about a hat? The hat. Okay, what am I doing for my first workout? Alright. Roll back. Roll back. Roll back. You want to pass it like that? Yeah. Okay. And you gotta roll with me. I gotta run with you? Yeah. Well, I gotta warm up first. That's the secret to winning all these Spartan races. Just kidding, I've never won a Spartan race. And all the deck races. You're going to make this very hard to work out. It's very hard to work out when you got this little cute thing running around. All right, so first thing, I'm going to warm up on the bike, get the, 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 the blood pump into the legs. I'm going to do some dynamic stretching, and then I'm going to jump into, I'm going to do some leg curls, and then probably some leg extensions, and then I'll get into the actual squats and all that fun stuff. You're going to do it with me? Yeah. Well, how do you do it? Can you do it? Can you show me? Very good. You guys saw it. That's the workout. Stay tuned. That's how you get jacked in three, two, three, two, one. Watch it air. Watch it air? that last time I filmed a workout, actually Cassie was the one that told me, last time I filmed a workout, it was a leg workout. So I feel like all I'm giving you guys is leg workouts. So I apologize for that. So I'm gonna keep filming this one, but comment below what day of the week you'd like to see next. Currently I'm in a push-pull legs split. So obviously today is a leg day, but comment below what you would like to see, whether it be a push day or a pull day, and I'll make sure that that's my, my next video. Um, anyways, first two exercises, leg curls, leg extensions. I did 15, 12, 12, 10, minute rest in between. Now I'm gonna jump into some squats. I'm gonna do 15, 12, 12, 10, so a little bit higher volume, a little bit out of the hypertrophy. Well, I guess it's still hypertrophy. Um, but then I'm gonna super the set that with kettlebell swings, four sets of 15. On the squats, I'm gonna increase each set. As for the kettlebell swings, I'm just going to choose a 53 pound kettlebell, 15 swings, 4 sets. This is exercise dose of leg day.
So the second set is done. And I've been thinking, and I've said it before, and you guys are probably like Bryce, you always go back and forth, back and forth. And that, you know, you're right, you're absolutely right. I do go back and forth through trial and error. And the reason why I say that is, I, I don't think I could work out in the afternoon anymore. I know I've said it before, but I'm saying it again. I think I just need to stick to waking up at 3.30 every single morning and doing both my cardio and my lifting in. Because when I came home from work, <clears throat> I sat down on the couch, obviously I was talking to Cassie, playing with Adeline, and then I drank my pre-workout, and then they were inside, Adeline wanted to come outside, obviously to do the workout with me, and I just don't like having to be out here when they're in there. I think I like being able to wake up, do my entire workout, come home from work, and then be able to just spend all the time with them. I don't like having to break up everything. So I think I'm gonna get back to it. I don't think there's any way around it. As much as I'd like to work out later in the afternoon, I just don't think I could do it. So tomorrow I'll be waking up back to 3.30 in the morning and getting my workout in. So just thought I'd give you guys an update. But anyway, second set is done. Now I'm gonna jump into some reverse lunges with a slight deficit, but I'm gonna do 15, 12, 12, 10. I'm trying out this rep scheme, this rep range, and I think I like it. Gets a good pump, gets good muscle endurance, mixed with a little bit of hypertrophy. So I'm gonna do 15, 12, 12, 10, and then obviously I'm gonna increase each set. So this is third exercise is, third exercise, reverse lunges. Just wrapped up my final exercise. Those lunges are no joke. Reverse lunges, and then when you up the weight. So now it is ice bath time. And I got this new method that is flawless, especially since it's winter and my garage gym is kind of cold. So watch, I'll show you my method. So I actually have to pull out the ice blocks. And the main reason why is because they don't melt since it is so freaking cold out here. So what I do is I actually take them out, put them right back in the little container, which allows them to refreeze again, this time tomorrow. And then that has been allowing me to be able to if I could get it, be able to do an ice bath, bath every single, oh gosh. Sometimes I do that. An ice bath every single day or every other day, depending on what day of the week it is. So take out these ice blocks and I put them in pretty much as soon as I start my workout. So my workout's about 45 minutes. And usually that is enough time to get like this one. This sucker didn't melt at all. This is a full on block. I don't even know if I can shift a little on this one. 45 minutes is usually enough time for me to get below 40. So let's see. And then technically, it's ready for tomorrow. But let's see. Thermometer in, it was 53. So in about 40 minutes, it dropped to 42.8. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. 42.8. Time to ice bath. Don't think. Just do. I realize it's gonna stop. What I found is it actually does not take me that long to get relaxed or calm, I guess you could say. I mean, like right now it's cold. 
feel it on my neck, feel it on my biceps. If you listen to a song and you just go into like visualization mode, it's not too bad. So apparently if you do this for 11 minutes a week, so like a couple sessions that add up to 11 minutes, that's apparently the benefit of it. So if I do this five times a week, three minute sessions, 15 minute for the week, I feel like that's pretty good. Uh, the worst part is on your neck, this sucker is cold. But actually the other day I was doing this, Adeline was out here, and it was pretty funny because she was touching the water saying how cold it was. Oh no, it breezy cold. Oh my gosh. It's freezing cold. And it was like a sucky situation, but I was literally just sitting here like laughing and smiling. And I was thinking like long term, what does that do to your child when they are constantly watching their parent put themselves in a sucky situation? And while they're in that sucky situation, they have a smile on their face. So it got me jacked because I was like Spartan at the age of four. For all those parents out there, you need to realize that your child is always watching you, no matter what you do. Like this morning, my breakfast, this egg whites and spinach, Adeline ate spinach and egg whites. You good, Mama? They want to do what their parents do. So make sure you're doing stuff that you want your kids to do. Average parent won't do that. Don't be average. So this is actually the worst part, is getting out. It's freaking cold. Oh, that's cold. Feel it in my, in my, my bones, in my soul. So now that the ice bath is done, let's wrap up this video. So that is what my current like days look like right now, right? So I've been waking up at about 4.30 every single day, except for like I said, Monday and Wednesdays on the days Cassie works. Um, and then I've been doing my workouts in the morning and then obviously lifting in the afternoon. But like I told you guys, I think starting tomorrow, I'm gonna go back to 3.30 in the morning, just knock them both out. Um, that usually only goes on as I'm training for Spartan races. When I switch over to DECA races, I probably don't have to wake up that early just because I'm not going to be doing that much running. But since I am training for a, technically a half marathon, a 5K and a 10K, I kind of got to get in shape for that. So um, as of right now, my average weight is 208. I'm hoping that gets down, obviously, for race day. Um, and then when it comes to, oh, you know what? I didn't even show you guys my new gym. My new rack. Let me show you guys this real quick. So, as you can see, I got a new rack. And this thing is a beast. It's super tall. It came black. Obviously, I had to paint it red to match the rest of the gym. But this is what the gym looks like now. I'm thinking about taking that and moving it over there. Because this is where my assault bike will go whenever I actually get it. And then I got to move that. But this is the rack. This thing, like I said, is a freaking beast. I love it. And then obviously the flooring. One of the videos actually I plan on doing um, for the new year is to do an updated garage gym because I know a couple of you guys have been asking about what flooring I use and all that stuff, so I'll be doing that. Um, like I said, I really gotta lock it in for the next three weeks because my goal is to get under 200 pounds for a race weekend. Update as of the website. I'm just testing out the products, making sure everything is good to go, meaning that when you guys order something, you guys get it quick. Um, but I should be launching that within the next couple weeks. I actually am working on merch for you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking, hey, where can I get some shirts, all that stuff. Um, I actually got one shirt that I'm, I'm super pumped to drop because I know a lot of you guys, I think a lot of you guys are gonna love the message that it says on it. I know I'm super pumped about it. I'm actually gonna do a whole video just talking about the message um, that's on the shirt and what it means to me and what a reminder of it is or what it reminds me to do every single day. And I think you guys will be just as pumped as I am. But that should be coming probably within the next week or so. I'm hoping that I could get it out obviously before my race because I'm hoping to wear it for my race. So that is that. Um, but anyways, that about wraps up this video. I'm, like I said, it's, it's a new year. I'm pumped about it. Um, I got a lot of goals that I am planning on doing, um, especially for getting content out to you guys. I know I've said it a lot, but I'm really just trying to get as much content to you guys as I possibly can. And then obviously now start getting some merch and different workout programs for you guys because a lot of you guys have been super supportive for the channel and I just obviously wanna keep it, keep it growing um, and keep delivering content.
That's, that's really what the end of the day is. It's something I need to be more consistent with. It's one of my goals for 2024. So appreciate you guys watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Comment below, like I said, if there's a certain workout that you guys want to see me do um, in the next video, because I know I, I've, I've given you guys like every leg workout I know. Um, so I need to switch it up. So comment below what you guys want to see next, and I'll be sure to get that to you guys. You guys already know the motto. Stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, don't be average. I will catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.